All right, I'm standing here with Tommy. Say hi, Tommy. Hello, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> and this is your buddy, Roxy. Yes. Yeah. Yes, hey, oh. That's my girl. She heard her name, didn't she? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's very playful. How old is she? She's 18 months. Wow, so yeah. she's just a pup still. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, very she's... smart dog. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. Well, tell us about your trailer here. What's the dimensions of this one? This is a 716. Uh -huh. a lot, a, almost identical to your red one you did. And okay. I think it's got the 6'9"-ish height. Right. And, uh, yeah, it looks like it was the... It lo does look almost the spitting image of it as yeah. far as the, the dimensions are concerned. Yeah, I even uh, worked with Jerry Merritt. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, so you got yours through Southern Trailer Depot. Yeah. 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 So who built this trailer? Uh, rock solid rock solid did yeah. okay all righty so seven by 16 man i'm assuming seven foot ceilings that's what they call a seven foot ceiling yeah and of course the first thing i noticed and i was asking you what that was was right here so tell us about that that's my air conditioner and it just slides out when i need it yeah and i use um, those little kid pool uh what do they call them Pool noodles? Noodles, yeah. yeah. I've cut some of those up and I just uh, chink it all the way around. It. Kind of stuff them around it to seal yeah. it off when you have it pulled out and using it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it works great. Uh, I had to get up and turn it off the other night. It got so cold. <laughs> yeah, of course today we don't really need uh, it because it's so cool. Now, I just now noticed this. What you're using for a slider, that looks like one of those uh, kitchen cabinet type um, Yep. Slide out uh, storage bins. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Well, that's ingenious. Yeah. Did you come up with that by yourself? No. Uh, somebody on YouTube. Uh, I forget who, but uh, they were using it, and I said that, that, that would work. So, yeah. Well, it works wonderful. Plus, it's already, you know, it's going to allow uh, condensation to drip out from underneath it and everything. And you got looks like you got a taller door than I had on our on our seven footer. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I learned the hard way about uh, that. I remember, yeah. <laughs> that's probably why I got this tall. <laughs> yeah, I left a lot of DNA behind on that door, that's for sure. And I see a camera right up there on the corner just above the door. I've got four cameras uh, on two that points that way. Actually, the back one points that way, and then two on the side and one in the front. Gotcha. So, and the little DVR, it plugs in for security here while I'm camping, and I can move it to the truck while I'm driving. Ah. And, uh, use it as a driving camera as well. And of course, over here, let's walk around over here, and I see you got propane tanks here. Yep, two uh, 30 pounders under there. I've actually got two 60 pounders at the house, but I didn't want to carry it around that way. Sure. And uh, I knew I wouldn't, wouldn't be needing them this trip, so uh, I do have two under there just, okay. just in case. So, what, uh, what all do you uh, power uh, with the propane? Right now, this would be a, a propane generator if I needed it, if I were boondocking or something. Okay. And then I do have a small propane tank for the interior stove. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any kind of solar panels on top or anything on this? Not one? yet. I've okay. got four, but um, those little black feet you put on them, they didn't work because the arch in my uh, my roof. Okay. So I'm going to have to do something like what you got on your van. And I see. Build something to kind of lift them up about four inches. So. Sure. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. They stayed at home. Uh, didn't need them this trip, being that I got 30 amp service. So. Oh yeah, right, exactly. And I see you got the sidewinder hitch, or I'm, I'm sorry, the sidewinder tongue jack. So here you've got your 30 amp power inlet coming in right here. Yep. And uh, uh, and then we were talking about the way you have your sewer set up. You have a regular uh, three inch RV style uh, sewer outlet right here and you've got it reduced down now to a three-quarter inch uh, garden hose and since we're here uh, where we don't have sewer at the side of course you've got your uh, your uh, honey wagon as Todd likes to call it one of our other <laughs> you, you know Todd yeah he's the guy making the jambalaya today uh, so you just drain it off into that yep. and it works well for you and you are using a, a dry toilet setup yeah yeah so the only wastewater you have will be from the sink and the shower. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Shower yeah. every evening before bed and uh, and do the dishes. Yeah. There you go. And it works for you, doesn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah. And you do have a freshwater tank. How big is your freshwater tank? Twenty-six gallons. Twenty-six gallons. Yeah. Okay. And of course, this is where uh, your gravity fill is for the freshwater tank, and also your city uh, water yeah, inlet uh, yeah. is is behind that door. Yeah. And as the well. vent. It has the little vent. Uh, right. Exactly. Yeah. 
your typical yeah. Uh, little. Yeah, the vent they have on those takes a little half inch hose. Yeah. Is what it takes on that, yeah, for sure. All righty, and uh, of course you had them install the windows. I see a window there and there was a window on the other side as yeah. well. Yeah, they right? put those in. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, before we go inside, you've got the doors open on the back and you have barn doors rather than a ramp door. Uh, I want to show how, uh, uh, you know, how you've got so much storage underneath the bed back there at the back. All right, let's well, take a look there. back here. Uh, wow, look at all this storage you got here. Yeah. Man, oh man. Yeah, uh, plenty of storage. Um, I probably reconfigured this bed <laughs> three or four times. Oh, really? Before I was happy with it. My wife said she didn't want to camp, so I said, well, I'll just reduce the bed from a queen to uh, a twin XL. And okay. It gave me some extra space inside and uh, plus my generator and all of my setup stuff. Mm -hmm. So it comes in handy. Yeah. So what kind of generator you got there? What are you using? Uh, that is the yellow one. What do they call that? Uh, I think oh, you guys. Uh, uh, champion? Yeah, yeah. That's a champion uh -huh. and it's the propane, uh, propane burning champion. version. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And this is probably a 3500, isn't it? Uh, I imagine. Or 3000. 3,000, I believe. Yeah, okay. And I'm assuming it's probably an inverter generator as well. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's yeah. got all the hookups ready to plug your uh, 30 amp plug into. Oh, yeah. 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 So. yeah. And so you've got it set up to run on propane. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, you've got a large uh, cavernous storage area back here. This is neat. Really is neat. And, uh, and of course, you've got the, the screen with the, yeah, with the magnet connections yep. there. And Keep the bugs out. And it works good for you, I guess? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. As long as the weather's nice, uh, just open the doors and <laughs> enjoy the outside while you're inside. All right, are you ready to step inside? Sure. All right, yeah. let's walk around there. We'll be right back and go inside. All right, so here we are inside, and this is towards the nose of the trailer, and I know you were telling me you still have some trim work to do and everything, yes, sir. but uh, your woodworking is really pretty. You're, it's really coming out nice. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. looks good. and. Uh, we were talking for the ceiling, you have a total of an inch and three quarter uh, insulation in the ceiling. You drop it down a little bit, and then you've got a little chase way that runs along here so you can uh, catch all your lights that run down the center right here. Yeah. And uh, uh, now what is this, this stuff here that you have? That the, is a pill and stick. It's a 12 by 12 uh, square. Really? And you just peel and stick it on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just trying to give a little, uh, I don't know, a little... Uh, beauty up there or whatever. Mm -hmm. And what kind of fan we got going on here? Uh, two Max fans. Oh, you got two of them? Yeah, one over the bed and one here. Okay. Now, is is one of them uh, one that'll go both ways, push and pull? Both of them do. Oh, both of them do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think they're 10 speed and they go both directions. Uh -huh. So these are all uh, remote controlled as well then, since you yeah. got those. Yeah. yeah. I'm just amazed at uh, how much air they circulate oh yeah, yeah you know yeah. they're they're really cool and, and they're not that noisy uh, no so, yeah, so not at all i'm very pleased with them so i can only imagine if you've got one drawing and the other one pulling yeah. <laughs> that's a good job if you want to cool down <laughs> absolutely absolutely and tell us about is this your shower yep. in here okay yeah. I, uh, come up with that i initially bought the 32 by 32 pan and i just didn't like wasting the space there on that uh that area, it, you, I would have ended up with a big gap on that side. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, bought me some of that Flex Seal rubber and poured two gallons. Oh, in. really? And then, then I cut a sheet of plexiglass and laid it over top of the Flex Seal and uh, trimmed it out. Well, how does it drain? Uh, the, it's got a drain back there in the corner. Oh, it's back there in the corner? Yeah. Okay. That's All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, it's okay. But just, just so we know it's there, the shower curtain was covered, and I don't want to mess with moving that. But, uh, yeah, that's neat. So that uh, I was been seeing some other videos where guys uh, utilized that Flex Seal, and that looks really slick. Yeah. It really does. The, uh, the first gallon I put in there uh, without the plexiglass, it was picking up and holding a little bit too much dirt. Mm -hmm. And the texture of the rubber, so uh, I put the plexiglass down to keep it nice and white looking. Okay, well, it really looks nice. It and came. You would think that would be slick, but it, it, it's not slick at all. Really? When you're in there. No kidding. And uh, so you use uh, FRP to line your walls. Yeah. Looks like, and you've got an Oxygenics uh, shower wand. Yeah. That yeah. Works good. Yeah. All righty. And tell us about your water heater. Uh, electric. It's 
under these towels and it's all good. <laughs> and it works good. Yeah. Okay. I uh, had it turned up a little too high last night and it gets hot. Okay, tell us what size that is. I believe it's a four gallon. Okay. I think yeah, they come in a wondering. two and a half, four, and I think a seven or eight. But I think that's four. And yeah. Plenty. Of, I, I don't think I've ever used four gallons at once in hot water. So. And you've got a nice big closet here. Yeah. 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 I got it packed full. I didn't know if I was going to need warmer, cool clothes. <laughs> so <laughs> this time of year is always iffy. And uh, you've got your microwave right here. Yep. And uh, it's that retro look, and and it's the same color we have, and we just love ours. Is it working out good for you? Yeah. 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 And I like your wow. I like the. It was winter when I made these, so they uh -huh. look a little winterish. But uh, I've been working on this for uh, about three or four years. Uh, it just turned out to be winter time and snowing that day, and I said, "Let me go get some old leaves." Well, it looks really, really good. It really does, and. Uh, this looks like uh, what you made here for an upright. It looks like those uh, three-quarter inch thick uh, glued up pine boards you can buy at like Lowe's and Home Depot. Yep. That mm -hmm. and this right here. Oh, the countertop's the same thing? Yep. Okay. Yeah, came in real handy. Yeah. And what did you... Uh, Just polyurethane. Use regular polyurethane. Yep. Several coats or... Yeah, yeah. Multiple coats. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, it came out looking real nice. I love that look. Yeah. yeah. Really, really do. And uh, <clears throat> your your wall board here. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Yeah, um, it's all the way around. Mm -hmm. I plan on putting some pill and stick up here behind here to make it look more like uh, a more kitcheny. Yeah, kitcheny, yeah. different room kind mm -hmm. of thing. So, but uh, it's um, I guess that's a quarter inch plywood. Okay. Tongue, not tongue and groove, but uh, the but a uh, uh, beadboard. Beadboard. Yeah, yeah, they call it beadboard yeah. if I remember correctly. Of course, yeah. that's the same thing over here. Yeah, now this is a lot thinner. Uh -huh. this, that that was much thicker. Now this come this came in the sheets, mm -hmm. so it's not the planks that you not yeah. the tongue yeah, and groove four planks. By eight, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, I gotcha. And is this propane? This yep. stove. Okay. Yep. Got a little propane tank under there, and uh, my detector oh, okay. sitting under there. With yeah. Me. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So far. Awesome. And you got a real neat workstation here. Yeah, yeah, I hope to maybe do a little traveling and working at the same time. Gotcha. Well, that really come out nice. It really did. I like that. And uh, of course, over here, here's your fridge. And I think that's about a four cubic foot or a 3.5 yeah. or something it's like the that. Four, yeah, mm -hmm. somewhere in there. Uh, still the retro look and the Galantz. Uh, did you get yours at Home Depot? Uh, I ordered off. Amazon. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they delivered it. Yeah, well, almost, uh, we got ours through uh, Home Depot. They carry them there. Yeah. And then here's your monitor, of course, for all yeah. your uh, exterior cameras. It's actually a DVR. It's got a little SD card in there and it uh -huh. records. And yeah. It, uh, and then again, it, uh, you, when I'm traveling, I just plug it in in the, in the truck uh -huh. and it becomes a uh, driving camera. Ah, awesome. So, uh, Fantastic. And of course, here's the air conditioner from the inside. Seeing how it yeah, is like right it, here. Chink it around. The size. <laughs> noodles. Chink it with the pool with the pool noodles to seal it off on each edge. Yeah. And then we've got this. Uh, is this like a storage bench here, or? Yeah, it's got my batteries and electronics up under there. Okay. So, uh, oh yeah, I remember somebody saying you're a guitar player. Uh, uh, uh wanna be. <laughs> Let me take oh, wow. this off. Get to it a little bit easier. There we go. It's a little okay. messy, but uh, I got 280 amp hours of lithium under here. I bought uh -huh. the cells, the 3.2 volt cells, and built my own batteries. Uh -huh. I got two 12 volts, and they're connected to create a 24 volt system. Right. Right. Wow, that's pretty cool the way you got that set up, and I'm, I'm assuming this uh, this would be your step-down transformer to step down to 12 volts, am I assuming right? Yes, sir. Alrighty. Yeah, because yeah, we uh, it looks just like the one we use, and you got a 3,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Yeah. Uh, well, that's really neat. Oh, I'm, I'm trying... I'm solar gener uh, solar controllers. Oh, those are your solar controllers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I've got two of them, and... Uh, but you still have yet to put panels up on top. Yeah, right. Yeah, still got to work on that. Okay. So. All right. But you're pretty much ready to go. Yeah, got everything now. Yeah. Just need some brackets to hang them. There you go. Well, you'll get there. Yeah. That's for sure. Slowly but surely. Yeah.
And I made my own cushions. I'm quite proud of that. Yeah. Because I didn't know how to sew. <laughs> so, uh, well, if you hadn't told me, I would have never, never thought any different. My wife you know? gave me that fabric at one. It was three, so I used it. Aha, <laughs> uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Well, like I say, I just I really love your workstation here. This is really nice. And of course, since you're just got it set up for just you, you have a lot more room, yeah, you know, yeah. to, to have a really nice desk. Yeah. And uh, got your TV right here over your bed yeah. and everything. And, and I'm sure this bed fits you just perfect. It does. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we have we know that we've already talked about we have an inch and three quarter insulation in the ceiling. What have you got on the walls? Same. The yeah. same? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So it's you three quarters. Yeah. 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 So it I, sounds I the furring behind it. Sounds like you furred it out very similar to what we did. Exactly. On yeah. both of our trailers, yeah. and uh, yeah, if you got an inch and three quarter of foam board, it really makes a big difference. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. Well, this is really neat. Yeah, I weighed Tommy. it um, coming in on Sunday morning. Oh, did you? And uh, it weighs in at forty-eight hundred. Wow. Even yeah. So. Fantastic. So that was well within my towing capacity. So yeah. yeah. And what do you tow it with? I did. Oh, you tow it with a Ford F one fifty. Yeah. Yeah. It's got the right. five four. All right. Uh, and one one nice feature that I really love and enjoy is uh, this hidden table. Comes out nice and sturdy. Um, it's good for uh, having dinner. It's good when you're in bed. You can set things here, your phone or whatever. Well, that's just really neat. It just goes back into place. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Was, it turned out really Didn't good. Didn't even know it was there until you pointed it out to me. <laughs> well, I thought for sure. Yeah, I thought maybe you'd like that. Uh, oh yeah, I, I I love that. I love that. Yeah, thank you so much for showing me that. A good idea for somebody down the road, maybe. Exactly. Well, I'll tell you what, Tommy. This is beautiful, and and you did most everything yourself, right? Uh, everything, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. So. It really looks neat. It it's sharp. I mean, the, your 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 fit and finish the. The uh, the carpentry uh, work here and everything it's really pretty. Uh, Appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. It took a lot of work. Oh, More yeah. thinking than work. I mean, you just oh yeah. Sit and think and think and think. Or sleepless nights. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Thinking about what you want to do next. How long did it take you to to build it? I bought it. Um, I think I got it end of 2019. Uh, it was right at Thanksgiving, and then uh, 2020 I had both my knees replaced, so I didn't get a whole lot done. In that amount of time, but uh, I've been working on it on and off since end of 2019. Uh huh. So, okay. Yeah. Well, it takes time. Yeah. Yeah, it sure does. But it's really coming out nice. And you still got a little bit more stuff to do. As oh, you yeah. already told yeah. me. You still got to, you know, uh, figure out how you want to do uh, Some your, doors your or covers or something. Yeah, your covers or something there on the front of your cabinet. Yeah. But uh, uh, at least you've got it usable and functional. And, and, and that was one of the purposes making a trip I want to see well what what do I need or don't need that, that might need to be changed uh, gotcha yeah. well let me ask you right quick while we're on the subject or right, how are you enjoying the uh, oh, love it yeah. I, especially the the family camaraderie that uh, we're having every evening it's, it's yeah really nice yeah you made a whole lot new a lot more new friends haven't you yeah yeah it, that beats camping alone and by yourself <laughs> with nobody yeah. to talk to but uh, it's uh, it's been great well, yeah, Deb and I are just, uh, we're having a blast. I mean, we're, we're getting wore out, of course, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. because of so much going on. But uh, we are so elated, you know, with how everything's going and how everybody, uh, you know, just fit in their own niche and every, and just really just uh, made friends within just yeah. a few minutes. Yeah. And so I know that everybody's going to what, gonna go away from here with a lot of new friends that oh, they absolutely. didn't have before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure enough. So anyway, I've still got some more videos to go shoot. And uh, so I better get on down the road, but what I'm going to say for now, this is Tommy and Bill with I Ride Tiny House Adventures, and we always end our videos, you know how we do, yeah. we're not camping. We're not camping, we're living. Exactly, <laughs> but yes, that is true. And Roxy, you're such a sweetheart, you take care of Tommy, okay? All righty, thank you. We'll All see right, you again. thanks, Bill. Bye-bye.